What is happening everybody? Welcome back. We are checking out another main machine of a pedal. Now this is of course the Friedman BEOD Deluxe. Um, I, I saw this at Winternam and it just it sounded fantastic and I was really excited whenever they asked me if I wanted to check it out uh, now and I was like shoot yeah. So uh, it sounds great. I, you know like I said I, I'm, I'm very excited about this pedal. It sounds fantastic. Uh, I'll give you just a quick rundown of what it is. You, know, you guys know what the controls are. So you've got two channels on this pedal. Uh, one kind of more gain than the other. I used one basically as the lead and one as the rhythm side. And uh, you know your standard controls, your volume, bass, middle, treble, those all do exactly what you think they do. So I don't really need to <laughs> describe those. The uh, presence though I think is really cool. So the presence essentially is controlling your, those uh, ultra high frequencies that are in your in your sound uh, then you have your gain knob, which is of course your gain, and then they have a tight switch right over here. Now that is actually tightening up the low end, so so all that really just adds to a pedal that can really cover a lot of ground, especially with two channels. So uh, the second channel is, is mimicking the first one with layout, um, slightly more gain on that one. That was what I used for my lead channel. So we're just going to go ahead and you know play with this thing. I'm running into, uh, this is my Acacia Cronus, which is loaded with Fishman Classics. I'll hit you guys with some passive pickups here in a minute. I'm going into my Rev Generator 740, and uh, that is going into my Two Notes Torpedo Live, which has a 4x12 cabinet on it, and uh, into Logic. And there you go. So my reference tone is this. That is not my reference tone. <laughs> <laughs> that is my distorted tone. This is my reference tone. Just a basic kind of clean. A uh, little bit of grit there if you really dig in. And these are pretty hot pickups. So um, again, you know, so here's the channel that I had pretty much dialed in for my uh, rhythm sound. And I, I really dug it. <laughs> Bass, you know, I'll sweep that. <laughs> yeah, it really fill, fills in a lot. Um, I like a lot of bass. The mids, um, I thought it had a, a nice range. It wasn't too drastic. Some pedals, like, they get kind of mid crazy and you just barely touch the dial and it just goes crazy. And I like that this one, it lets you play with it a little bit, but it's still. I got a lot of a lot of room there. Treble, treble all the way up is pretty harsh. But not too bad, you know. It's still usable. Treble is another one of those dials that I see a lot of pedals. Uh, they're just like overly drastic with how much it changes. Now I don't think you guys can probably see it on that camera because the knob is, is black with no white line on it, but my presence is a little bit before, it's kind of in between 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock. So um, if you hear the sweep of it, so there it is all the way up. how much definition so that was really a, a great addition to this pedal that uh, Dave put in here that presence adds a lot yeah uh, gain the pedal has gain for days so this is more of the rhythm side but there is a, a gain pot inside of the pedal if you want to open it up. I didn't mess with that. But, um, and you can actually bring the overall gain of the pedal down if you want to. 
and uh, that's, you know, just something else you can toy around with if you want to. Like I said, I thought the pedal was totally fine on its own. I didn't see it any reason to do that. And um, now the tight switch, uh, I had mine in the, the middle position. So I guess like position two. So down I'm considering position one. I don't think it's gonna be that audible through YouTube. It's more of a feel thing. It's kind of like on the BE, the, the SAG and stuff like that. Um, it's more of a feel, like when you're in person, you really feel the difference when you're playing. So like now the tight switch is all the way up. I preferred it in the middle. And like I said, in person, I'm, I'm really feeling the, that tightness of the low end in there. So I think it does definitely make a difference. Uh, now, the, like I said, the other channel, I'll just play on it for a minute, and I'm going to switch guitars. I'm going to go to the Cali, which was the other guitar that I used on the track. Okay, so here we are on the lead side of what, what I'm calling the green side, which is what I use for my solo. Uh, and I'm using the Cali, which is what I use for the solo. And I, like I said, these are all, these tones are dry, so I use a lot of reverb and delay. So I'm going to play it dry here for just a second, and I'm going to go kick some delay and reverb on it, and, and give you more of, like, the tone the way I would use it, I suppose. So... <laughs> Okay, so now I have some delayed reverb on here. Uh, I'm just using a Hall of Fame and a Flashback from TC Electronic. I figured those were pretty common ones. On the track, I actually used my Anna Sounds uh, delay, but this is this is getting you pretty much the same thing. And um, so, like, so this is more how how I use this kind of stuff. I don't really like a real dry tone like what I've used so far. That was just more so you could hear exactly what the pedal does. But uh, so this is more like the lead sound, you know. <laughs> just it's, it's it's very responsive pedal that especially that blue channel like I said that's just it's the same amount of gain that's how much gain but I was on the neck pickup and I rolled my volume down and all of a sudden this amazing clean sound So good. So uh, I'll hit you guys with some single coils and then we'll bounce on out of here. All right, so I'm not really gonna fiddle with the knobs too much for this one. Uh, this is just a Strat, good old single coils. This is American VG, but I'm not using the roll and pickup. I'm just using the controls uh, on the pedal and then uh, it's just a dry tone. So here it is with that blue channel. Here's those single coils rocking. Turn the gain down a little bit. A little more of a 
any sound. So that is the Friedman BEOD Deluxe. Thank you guys all so much for checking this out with me. And a huge thank you to the guys at Friedman for uh, even thinking of me to send this over to. So thank you guys very much. And, uh, you know, I don't like to throw the term around too much because I think it gets used in, like, way too many, you know, reviews nowadays that sounds like an amp in a box. But this really does have that vibe to it, you know. Um, I thought it was, it was pretty interesting. I, I could see me utilizing a pedal like this, like if I just have to go somewhere and uh, for like a clinic and you don't know what, what sound you're going to have, uh, this is perfect. As long as you have a clean amp, throw this in front of it and you have two channels to work with. Yeah, that, I, I could have used that this um, last week when I was doing a clinic in Mississippi. So that would have been perfect. So other than that, there's links down below if you guys want to check them out. Uh, all that stuff is down below. Uh, it's a very, very good pedal. I highly recommend it. So, until next time, yo. I'll be seeing you on the flippity flop later. Guitar high five, and we're out of here. Bye, guys. Woo.